I'm here with Keith Kamikawa, the Fisheries Extension Agent with NOAA. Glad you could join us. Thank you, too, for taking time from your day to share with us what you do. Of course. Thank you. So as the Fisheries Extension Agent, what mm -hmm. is your role? So basically, I serve as the middleman between different coral reef stakeholders. We have fishermen, managers, and scientists. And I act as the interface. I help information exchange. I help them, these different groups collaborate and work together. And it's a really great mixture of outreach and presentations and helping scientists and working with managers. Now, I know you grew up in Kaneohe from our conversation earlier. Mm -hmm. Did growing up in that area move you in this direction of your career? I think definitely. I was the typical, perhaps local kid running around with my bamboo fishing pole, <laughs> trying to get to the water as many times as I could going fishing. And then you see things change over time. You know, you live in a certain place, you see things change, and that, that piques my curiosity. You want to know why. What's the biggest why having to do with fisheries? There's things that are changing, um, whether it be the environment or in terms of the impacts. The quantity of fish, uh, we've heard a lot. Is sure. And so it's, basically it's important for everyone to hear what everybody else is saying. We want to make sure that fishermen have an input with work that's happening in our different state and federal agencies. And we want to make scientists and managers hear that, hear that voice, and then kind of work towards a common goal. We all want to catch fish, eat fish, study fish. And so we want to make sure those opportunities are around for generations to come. What are you experiencing when you go out to the community and have your public meetings? People that live in a place, they know best. Some of these people have seen things change throughout their whole lives and throughout generations, and they have a lot of great input to provide to the scientists and managers. And scientists and managers also have perhaps different skill sets that would also be important too. So if we can combine all of those things, then we can achieve really great work. Well, I appreciate what I hear you saying about wanting harmony. You know, and not only not only working with the community, but also working with the fishermen whose uh, financial well-being is dependent on what they catch. Yeah, so I, I often work with the non-commercial fishermen. And so these are people that are use the ocean and the resources for recreational use or subsistence or for fun. And I occasionally work with commercial fishermen as well, where, yes, their livelihood depends on ocean resources being there. So we kind of all want the resource to be there and we want it to be healthy. And so it's just important that we all work towards a common goal. I can anticipate what your closing message might be, but if you had one thought that you'd like to share with the younger generation, let's say. Sure, I was just one of those kids, as I mentioned, you know, I followed my passions. I loved aquariums, fishing, ponds, and I just channeled that into a graduate degree and continued through that academic path, but then also came here to work with scientists and managers. And it's just something I did to follow my passion. And so it's not like I have a special affinity for certain things, but if you have a passion for something, you can do well. Well, it's wonderful that NOAA gives you that flexibility to be sure. able to explore and also be working on your PhD. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Thank you. We've been conversing with Keith Kamikawa, fisheries extension agent with NOAA. Glad you could be with us.